Happy Thanksgiving everybody. Here is the Thanksgiving turkey. Looks like a chicken, but he's really a turkey. And uh, this guy's been pardoned because he's just inedible. But anyway, uh, happy Thanksgiving everyone. And it's your buddy Blogsmith Jim. I'm back. Stronger than ever. And we're talking HMNY today here on Thanksgiving 2017. And uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of background and insight where we are, where we were, and where we're going to go, most importantly, for those who are looking to invest. And uh, HMNY has definitely been an interesting stock. Um, for those who don't know who HMNY is, they are the company who has bought a majority stake in MoviePass, which is kind of spreading like wildfire right now. And... It's a subscription service that started at $10 a month. You could watch unlimited movies. I believe it's one movie a day for all, you know, the whole month. So uh, up to from 28 to 31 movies in a month, which is probably more than 99.999% of the population uh, is able to do. So... And those who probably uh, do it all the time probably have some more expendable income. But anyway, uh, that's a little aside there. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's about a 53% stake. Uh, you guys could correct me on that, but my last count was 53% stake of HMNY in MoviePass. So they are the majority owner. And this service is uh, looking to be the new Netflix but Netflix for cinema movies, so probably better than Netflix, uh, potentially, because you can go watch first-run movies when they come out on the big screen with a better picture, because I don't know anybody with a, uh, you know, 9,000 square inch TV or whatever it is. Um, so uh, let's get into the price, though. But before that, I want to remind everybody to comment like, subscribe, and share with everyone because Blogsmith Jim is talking stocks and you can see my other previous stock advice for the marijuana stocks and the Bitcoin stocks which are huge industries and growing at a, a phenomenal pace right now, especially the, the marijuana stocks. Bitcoin itself is doing great. But anyway, um, MoviePass <clears throat> yesterday, the last uh, day of trading before Thanksgiving, Wednesday, it closed at $13.32. And uh, to let you guys know where that stands from where it's been, it was as low as $2.20. So that's about six times, a little less than six times uh, what that was at the 52-week low, which was only as, uh, as recent as September, October. So it's kind of gone uh, uh, up a lot since then. And then uh, the 52-week the high is $38.86. And that was in October, somewhere around the 15th. Um, you guys can fact check me on that. But um, So $38.86. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of shareholders rode the wave and then got out and that's why 3886 came all the way down to 1332 so but uh, that being said it's been a really high volume ever since uh, ever since it started going up actually ever since HMNY announced that they became the 53% owner of MoviePass and then um, yeah the volume spiked it's uh, 5.74 million shares a day on average it's been a little lower because of the holiday, but um, that's a pretty high volume, <clears throat> especially for a stock that's trading at $13, so it's not a tiny penny stock. Um, the one-year target as per Yahoo is $25. I think that's across the board, actually, target, but $25 is a pretty good target. Um, they had it at 20 when it went right through 20 and went up to 38.86. And then came back down and they uh, readjusted that target to $25. And this stock is kind of a, a love-hate relationship among traders. So there are a lot of shorts out there and there are a lot of longs out there. But um, give props to 
a guy that I discovered when I was doing my own research on HMNY, uh, Bob Dole, not the real Bob Dole, not the, the former presidential candidate, but uh, a guy named Bob Dole on the Yahoo board, and he's kind of a rock star in HMNY on Yahoo, so got to give him props because he's got some good insight too, and actually has a newsletter which I subscribe to, no lie. And, yeah, his, his advice has been pretty good, but like I said, I was on there first. I had, I probably targeted HMNY, I don't know, six months ago, and uh, just kind of kept looking at them, and then they started going up, and I was like, oh, what the hell's going on? And I saw that the movie pass thing went through, so I jumped on a little late, but, uh, but I de definitely got to ride it up to 3886, so... There's, yeah, lots of longs, lots of shorts. I would classify myself as the long because I don't have anything going that makes me want HMNY to go down and make money off of the, the short end of the stick. But there is competition slightly out there. Uh, Movie Pass is available in 92, I believe, percent of all the theaters. And... AMC even includes them, but AMC's kind of got their own ideas on how to having their own service, so <clears throat> we could go into all the details and the popcorn and all the, the users and all that stuff, but I'm going to keep it kind of simple because we're already, we're already at the 6 minute 43 second mark, so um, still giving you guys a good summary on the stock advice on the, the side of the numbers. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, the subscriptions are probably going to be well over a million, which is definitely legit legitimizing it. <clears throat> and I just found out in the last few hours that uh, they offered this new yearly pass for about, averaged out to about $7 a month. And the previous subscription price was $10 a month, $9.95, whatever. And... People love that, you know, 10 bucks for all the movies you can watch. And then they said, hey, if you pay us up front this, uh, you know, $80, $90, you can have movies for a year. And that averages out to somewhere around $7 a month. But they just pulled it because apparently it was a promotion that they wanted to get fulfilled to raise some quick cash. So props to them. But, uh, yeah, now it's net back to nine ninety five a month. And... My advice for the future, there's definitely some short squeezes coming because there's a bunch, like I said, tons of short traders that are banking on this stock to go down. But it looks like the stock is steadily increasing since it uh, dropped from that $38 high, went way back down to like 10 bucks. But it's it's been steadily climbing. And so it looks like a lot of these short traders are going to be squeezed out, which means that the price will go up. And so it'll go up at a pretty high rate until it kind of like uh, cools off and, you know, kind of settles down again. But now is an excellent, excellent time to buy into HMNY. And Blogsmith Jim said so. And also, yeah, like the um, MoviePass IPO is supposed to be coming in March. And we'll see what happens with that. It might get bumped back, and they haven't set a hard and fast date for that yet. But the two tickers, if there's Movie Pass, it'll probably be MP or something like that, and HMNY, they'll coexist and uh, they'll probably rise together as they go along. And Movie Pass will probably go crazy in the beginning. And I think HMNY will actually ride the coattails a little bit of that. So that would probably be a good time to have movie pass uh have hmny where you don't have to be invested in the volatility even more volatility of an ipo's you know first few days because usually everybody hit, hits the fever they jump in and then it just drops like you could see snapchat snap and what happened with that one but other than that we have i would say um yeah, they, these, these, the two tickers definitely going to trend together for a while, but it's kind of like Bitcoin has been too, and the marijuana stocks, you know, when there's a fever, 
they might not be a great stock, but because they're in that category, they're going to go up because people get that fever to invest. So it'll be smaller scale because it'll be those two stocks, but um, I'm going to say that, they're, that HMNY is going to be a great investment prior to March, but right now is, is, is great as well. I'm going to say by the end of the year to be conservative, probably about $19. So that's still a 50% increase, which, you know, even you put in a thousand bucks, you'll have fifteen hundred by the end of the year. So that's how I see it. I think um, in the next year, it's going to surpass that fifty-two mark, fifty-two week mark of thirty-eight dollars and eighty-six cents. So I'm going to say right around forty in the next twelve months, which I think is actually a conservative estimate. But I, if you're going to bank on it, we'll say forty and. Other than that, uh, everybody enjoy your Thanksgiving. And like I said, there's lots of been lots of ups and downs, lots of ups and ups and downs on this HMNY. But uh, this is a great time to invest. Let me reiterate that because I personally can vouch for it that this is a good, high quality stock with lots of activity. Don't get scared off by the hype. A lot of times people will post things hoping that the stock will go down because they're short on it which means they only make money if the stock goes down otherwise they gotta eat the shares basically and and buy them and and get back into being along so um, comments uh, comments definitely appreciated be sure to like this video check out my other videos like I said I have a lot on the marijuana stocks and the Bitcoin stocks and just a little inside information, the marijuana stocks are going to have a lot bigger platform from Blogsmith Gym. So keep, uh, keep in the know and stay tuned on that. I will let you guys know. Be sure to check out my website, blogsmithgym.com. And like I said, comment, like, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share. Be sure to share with everyone. And other than that, again, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. And remember to keep on living. Living in abundance. Gobble, gobble.